If you need to tighten your fan belt or alternator belt or take it off for any reason, the first thing you're going to need to do is loosen this bolt. Now we've got this car up on a ramp at the moment because we're taking the exhaust off, but you don't actually need to have a car on a ramp to, to reach that. It's just a 13 mil socket and you can reach it from above. So that is where the alternator pivots and that's the first bolt you need to undo. Once you've undone the bolt down there, um, either from below the car or from inside with the 13 mil socket, the next thing you have to do is undo this nut at the back here of the alternator. And once you've undone that, I usually use an open spanner, but you can use a socket as well. Um, it's a 17 mil socket. This here allows you to adjust the alternator back. You can see when I move that bolt, maybe you can see when I move that bolt, this will either tighten or loosen the fan belt. So when you move it clockwise, the bolt clockwise, it'll move it along this little ridge here. I don't know if you can see that. A bit difficult to see at this angle. So when you move it clockwise, the alternator will move back and that will tighten the belt. Okay, so if you've just got a screeching fan belt and you want to just tighten it, all you do is undo that pivot bolt at the bottom, loosen off this bolt here, and then turn the spanner clockwise. And what you may find is if your fan belt V-belt or alternator belt is knackered or worn out, you may find it's stretched and that this is actually as far as it goes and you're still getting some squealing, in which case it's time to replace the belt altogether. And when you come to replace the belt, you're gonna to want to be tight in turning this nut the other way to loosen this off and then taking the belt off. I've already taken the belt off and we've ordered some new belts for Mercedes. Now, to take this belt off completely, you're gonna to have to take off the other belt down here. I don't know if you can see this. The, um, what's it called? The water pump, power steering pump belt. Now, in order to take that belt off, most people end up taking this shroud off here, but you don't actually need to. All you need to do is to loosen the, the belt, take it off, and then you'll be able to get that alternator belt off basically over the top of the fan without touching the fan housing at all, which is what we've done. Now the pivot bolt for the water pump um, or power steering pump is quite tricky to get to. It is this bolt here, you can just there where my finger is and it's a 13 mil bolt and you can if you're lucky or not lucky but you can get an open ring spanner on it and you can actually undo it from um, underneath the car so I've got this car up on a ramp but I don't think you'd need to undo that you don't need to have the car up on a ramp to undo it so I've got a 13 mil ring spanner on there I don't know if you can see that um, once you've loosened that off, you can then go to the back to adjust the tension in the uh, water pump or power steering pump, whatever that is, belt. First of all, I don't know if this is, you have to loosen this nut here, but the first big nut here, I don't know if you can see that, is a 17, this one here is a 17 mil. You loosen that off and then this one here, is a 13 mil and that's the thing that you adjust to um, that you turn to adjust the tension in the belt so you're going to have to loosen that off initially to get the belt off and then later tighten it up to tension the belt correctly and getting in there is really tight um, you can just about loosen that 17 mil nut there with a um, socket to, to adjust that there I've been using a small, um, a very small socket. Just going to show you, which is this thing here. And then actually putting it in upside down like that and putting it on and turning it once your hand is up there. So once again, although this car's up on a ramp, I suspect you could actually do this job without the car being on the ramp just by putting it up on actual stands 
um, once you've loosened that belt off you can take that belt off that allows you to get the um, fan belt or alternator belt off and then it's just a matter of threading it over the fan blades you don't actually have to take the fan off so we've ordered a couple of blades uh, belts they come tomorrow and we'll have a go at fitting them back on tomorrow so we bought these two belts from Mercedes, the um, water pump, power steering pump belt. It's actually not too bad at all. £5.15 plus VAT. And the alternator belt, this one here. Fan belt, £17.90 plus VAT. These are the part numbers here. Um, and the total for the both belts from Mercedes, including VAT, is £27.66. So we're going to have a go at... Um, replacing the belts not on this car but on the car that's up on the ramp there but just to um remind you to um loosen off the alternator belt just pop your head under the car and loosen off that bolt first once you've done that you can get up here loosen off this bolt here and then with a 17 mil spanner you can loosen that or tighten it whatever you're doing the this belt here you're going to have to take that off in order to get the fan belt off and the actual pivot bolt for that is relatively accessible just there and you can just see that there but the adjustment bolts you're going to have to access from underneath the car i think um adjustment bolt the back of it is just there but the, to actually adjust it, you need to get around to the other side through here, basically. It's quite tricky to do. Yeah. How to put the belt back on? You're gonna be putting on the fan belt or the alternator belt first. And as I say, you don't actually need to touch this French this, um, fan to do it. Got to film this and get the angle, but we're just basically gonna take this belt and thread it over the, um, over the fan all the way over work it around over every single blade of the fan until it's on completely spinning the fan with all the blades it's just a matter of threading it around both pulleys or all three pulleys so that the um alternator is as close to the engine block as possible allow you to get the belt over the pulley then once you've done that um just get a 17 mil spanner on there and adjust it back again to tighten it up and move it away from the engine block. You're going to be turning that bolt clockwise to do that until you've got enough tension on the belt. There we go. Once you've got enough tension on the belt, um, you can tighten up the bottom pivot bolt and then tighten up the back of that bolt. The other belt on and it's going to entail loosening off the adjusting bolt on this here just so we can get the belt to clear the two pulleys. This belt on here is really tricky even with this adjusted as far towards the engine block as possible it's difficult to get it over this corner and the way to do it is just to get a 22 mil spanner you won't be able to get a socket on there if you've still got the radiator on and just give that a tiny turn and that'll just help the belt sit on and then once you've got it on it's just a matter of adjusting the nut at the back to tighten it up you should be able to get a 13 mm socket on the back of that adjustment nut there and then it's just a matter of going into the engine from above and tightening up the pivot bolt you should be able to get a 13 mm socket on that um, adjustment back of the adjustment nut to tighten that and then you've got to get an open 13 mil spanner that's 13 13 mil spanner to get up to this can't really see it there there's a bolt just there which is the pivot bolt on some cars you can get to that much more easily from the top but on this one it's hidden behind the bracket so i'm going to do it from the bottom and both pivot bolts up, we've tightened both adjuster bolts up and the belts are nice and tight, not overly tight. And on this particular one, you can see with the new belt on, you've still got plenty of adjustment as and when this belt stretches, whereas before on the old belt, that was right at the end of its um, adjustment thing there. So it's just a matter now of taking the car off the ramp and just testing that those belts are fine. Just to conclude, to change both V-belts, 
on this 280SL. Um, cost was £27, including VAT for the belts from Mercedes. Um, you need a 17mm socket or open spanner and also a 13mm to undo two bolts either side. Um, and then a 22mm, I need just to turn that to get that belt on. And you can probably do that in an hour or two and save yourself a bit of money compared to going to Mercedes or Mechanic to do that.